Hey guys, it's Risky here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to quickly talk about a potential clue, and then later on, I will be out on SRP hunting for some elk. So recently, something new has been going around the community about this new possible clue found on Leighton Lakes. If you want to come here and see this for yourself, this is the location on the map. If we take a closer look at this item, it appears to be a canteen made out of a gourd. I did some research and this looks like what is referred to as a bottle gourd. I also learned that the bottle gourd originated in southern Africa and slowly made its way into Europe. So what could this mean? Well, I'm sure a lot of you are probably going to go ahead and say this might mean we are getting a new African map of some sort. I'm going to have to agree with you on that. I mean, what else could this be hinting towards? I'm not sure, so go ahead and leave your ideas in the comments below. I would be glad to hear them all right let's get out there on silver ridge and try to find some trophies today Ooh, that's a pretty nice one let's put a shot into him before he spooks from one of those mountain lions over there that is one thing that always happens at this lake those mountain lions will scare the heck out of these elk you got to be really careful well we can't let a cat like that just get away from us 292 that's the one that was probably scaring away our elk oh wow I shot him with the right gun. I thought I shot him with the wrong gun for a second. There we go. We cracked him with that one. Finally hit him. Jesus. Oh no, we got a non-vital organ hit on our freaking elk. No, I don't need to follow him that way, buddy. He's right here. He started coming back. Let's check this out. Wait, what? We hit him that far over? Uh, what? I don't even... At least he's down. <laughs> Wasn't really anything special anyways. Let's go grab our puma really quick. Or our mountain lion, I should say. Same thing. Actually, you know what? I can't even claim it because it disappeared because of the render distance glitch. Uh, oh my gosh, man. It's always something. Mm, we're having some cow troubles. I think we need to sort this out. Well, there's at least two down. Uh, well, the other one's disappeared into the bushes. <laughs> At least we thinned them out a little bit. I don't really like having massive herds of cows running around on my maps, especially when I'm grinding for a diamond. All they're doing is just taking up space on my map. We always smoke this one in the spinal cord and the lung. Thankfully, we hit that lung. We would have ruined the check, but I mean, it's not like it really matters. It's just an elk or a female, I should say. Uh, and then this one, double lunged her. She did not go far at all. Cool. Hey, it doesn't hurt to kill some females every now and then. They're nowhere near as exciting as killing a bull, obviously, but it's definitely good to put some down here and there. I know we're out here hunting for elk and stuff, but I just can't pass up this level four and that what looks to be a dilute. I just spawned here at this outpost. I was going to check these little ponds out or whatever for some elk, but I see them off in the distance. I just can't resist shooting them. So let's take a little bit of a spot on the distance, 226 meters out. You know, we can actually probably get a little bit closer and they'll stand up for us and that'll make it a little bit easier to hit them. Just kidding, I'm too impatient for that. Yep, here's our level four. Left lung, liver, and stomach, a 269.60. Not a bad one. Pretty nice rack on him. I'll take it. And damn bear trotting around next to me. Let's see if we can find that other one that we shot. Oh no. I'm starting to think I got the render distance glitch again, man. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. Well, here's more blood, so... Hopefully it continues. Oh, thank goodness. At least one of them didn't disappear. One of them did, I think, but the other one didn't, and it was actually our dilute. That's cool. I'll taxidermize her. We're not going to mount her or anything. There's not really anything cool we can do with her, but just in case there's any cool multi-mounts in the future to use her with, we'll definitely have her there already saved. Ah, he juked me. Maybe that one hit his lung. Well, here he is. He's a light gray. I hope when I kill a diamond one of these eventually, I hope I get some kind of cool variant instead of just like a common. Uh, we won't go grab the other one because I made a really bad shot on him. We'll just let him be. Uh, he'll probably die somewhere, but I don't really care enough for a level two to go track him. I'd rather go spend my time on something, you know, more worth it, I guess. But yeah, let's move on to something else. Go check out a few more lakes today. Well, good news. I have found some more Rocky Mountain Elk and they're actually some pretty solid ones. Go ahead and order the dog to lay down really quick. And actually, before we shoot these guys, I want to go ahead and put on another trait that I just unlocked here. Uh, we have your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you or your dog has a higher chance to find fresh droppings. I think I'm just going to do this one. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Well, we got five more levels to go on the dog before he is maxed out. And then I'm going to put him back in the freaking kennel because he's really annoying lately. I feel like I could hit that shot though right through there. 
Let's try it. I don't know if we hit the tree there or unless we hit the, the elk. I, I have no clue. Oh yeah, we definitely hit the tree. But he's down though, the level four, and that's all that matters really. Those level threes can wait until next time. <laughs> well, let's check out this level four. He's not a very big one at all, just a 375.80. I mean, you can just tell by his rack, he's not very big. But we right lung and scapulate him. Not bad, did the job. I think that guy right there is going to be our last elk of the day. He's nothing crazy, but I mean, I've pretty much checked every single elk spot on my map that I know of, and this is all I found today. We'll definitely be out here in one of the next episodes hunting around again. Maybe I'll try out some multiplayer, uh, but honestly, I would love to get a, a Diamond Rocky Mountain elk on my map. It's just so much more rewarding when you get them on your map. I don't know why. It's just one of those things, I guess. Of course, that wasn't a good shot. Yeah, we ruined him. Vertebrate him. Wow, we actually shot a little high. That sucks. And scapulid. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. In the next episode, we'll probably be hunting for some plains bison. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the video out. And also subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.